so we're coming up to Tony Gonzalez's place. Tony is the dean at the uh, Milwaukee College Prep School, and he is an incredible mentor to these kids, preparing them to uh, to be really productive adults and go to college and be successful. And I'm, I'm excited to meet Tony. He's supposed to be a fan of myself and football, so I'm sure we'll have a lot to talk about if he can get over the initial uh, shock of seeing me at his front door. Get out of here. <laughs> Should I or can no, I go in? No, no, come on in. Babe, are you serious? Yeah, what's going on? I just want to know if I want some football with you. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you nice doing? to meet you, Aaron. You too. <laughs> Wow. Hey, how you doing? That's my wife, Danielle. Nice to meet you. Oh my God! As a kid, I grew up, I was like, okay, County Stadium, I'm going to a Packer game, and I'm like, that's as close as it's gonna get. Green Bay, I'm like, awesome, I've been to Lambeau. Now you're sitting in my living room. I heard you're doing some good things in this city. I'm definitely trying to, yeah. trying to make a change. Tell me about it. In the city of Milwaukee, this is the highest crime rate, so we need to educate our youth in these neighborhoods so they can get better. The yeah. school is K through eight? Yeah, K, K four through eighth grade. How many, uh, how many kids you got? Uh, about 525 now. And you're the dean? I'm the dean of elementary, of nice. the little kids. I can't go upstairs yet. <laughs> Initially, when I started there, there was only one campus, and now we're four schools deep. Four in the city? Yeah. So you started teaching? Yes. Teaching what? Second grade. Second grade? Second grade. <laughs> nice. I, I got into it, I was like, all right, snack time, nap yeah. time, yes, sounds good to me. <laughs> far, far from that. See, and this is the sad part, you know, you look around in the neighborhood, you see boarded up houses, boarded up windows. But what else do you see? Children. And here comes our diamond in the rough. Here's our school. What? Hey, no, come on, you guys, this is our, this is our school. <laughs> we give them a tour. What's your motivation with the kids? People looked out for me when I was a kid. Yeah. I had coaches that took me to practice, took me home, tutored me. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. So I'm kind of, in a sense, paying it forward. And as, as, you, as you look, this is a K-5 classroom that, you know, look at teachers already have work on their desks, ready, prepared, ready to go. Just because we have that high academic rigor, um, we have high expectations. You guys know. Yeah. How, how has it prepared you for high school? Good. No, great. Doing all right. You guys doing all right? I know I check up on you guys. <laughs> all the time. Yes, every time I see you. You know, we have a 90, 97% attendance rate. 97%? 97%. Wow. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, the, and the families are great. I mean, they are dedicated. I mean, family members, they have to come to conferences. Yeah. Well, we're in this together. And we just figure if we can, one school at a time, we can impact up to 500 kids. That's 2,000 kids in this greater Milwaukee area that are gonna be given a high quality education mm -hmm. and be loved. You know, I, I think, they're gonna have fun there. They're gonna be loved, but they're also gonna be held to really high standards. They're gonna be challenged there, and that's not a secret. You know, that's how you get better, move forward. This is what kind of coach was he? A great one. Coaching what? Girls basketball. Did he ever get any technicals? No. You can get your message across without yelling. You can. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I keep trying to tell my coach. <laughs> it doesn't work. Man. You too? <laughs> Wait, is David Gruber? Yeah. David Gruber's here too. What's going on? <laughs> Who's going to take the first shot? You or me? Not me. Thank you.
come on. Oh, fall. Oh, no. Out of my range. Oh. All right. It's the seventies, mid-range. <laughs> my dad does the same thing. There you go. Kids want to come to school. Yeah. I love it. You know, and then no matter what you're going through, you know, when you get to work, just like the kids, this is a sacred place. That's what it is for us, too. You know, we find, find comfort and joy being there. I love going to work. Almost, almost, you got it. You got it? Yeah.